If you've ever looked at the NVIDIA control panel and scratched your head and thought, what am I supposed to set the shader cache to? I think this video might just be for you. Because in today's video, that's exactly what I'm going to be testing. Driver default, 1 gigabyte, 10 gigabyte, or unlimited. So sit down, strap in, let's go. And then a last note before we get started, if you haven't subscribed as of yet and you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing at the end of the video. And then to my current subscribers, uh, if you enjoy my content and you have the means, please consider hitting that join button and becoming a channel member. It will really, really help my cause. But let's get to it. Now last year I made a similar video, but I employed incorrect analysis of my data. That's saying I only looked at average FPS, which only gives you about a third or less of the picture you essentially want to establish to understand performance. I was leaving performance on the table. In fact, I was using the worst shader setting to be quite frank. So guys, my results were as follows. Shader cache. All my games are tested at medium settings where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available. I use a quality setting with the exception of Returnal. Um, I use the low setting preset with um, FSR set to balanced because my laptop is severely unexpected for Returnal. Other than that, everything's at medium. Guys, I'm going to say it again. I test my games. Oh, I, I do my benchmarks on single player games offline third person open world so your results may vary on online and then lastly i use a gtx laptop i don't have an rtx card i don't have an rtx laptop so your results may vary for rtx platforms and guys i'm using the latest driver to test or we'll do my benchmarks so for the default shader cast setting in the nvidia control panel i add up all my average fps's and then over 10 games I get to a total of 770 F, or 717 FPS, divide by 10, and my average FPS per game is 71.7. Do the same for the 1% lows, and then my total 1% low over 10 games is 549, divide by 10, and my average 1% low per game is 54.9. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability on default shader cache setting is 76.57%, which is a pretty damn good result. Next, I tested the same on one gigabyte shader cache. Long story short, I did the same process and then my average FPS per game was 71.3 and then my average 1% low was 54. So you can see there's a bit of a dip in performance there. And then when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, it gives me a stability reading of 75.74%. So, so far, default, uh, driver default is the best setting. Next, we move on to 10 gigabytes. And same process, over the 10 games, my average FPS was 71.3, and my average 1% lows was 54. Exactly the same as one gigabyte. And when I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, I get to the same stability reading of 75.74%. So, so far, the best shader cache setting is actually driver default. And then lastly, I tested unlimited, did the whole same process. Over the 10 games, my average FPS was 71.5, and then my average 1% low was 54.4. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, I actually got my second best result which was 76.08%. So guys, there you have it. Um, in my testing, I found that leaving driver default setting for shader cache is actually the best setting. And you can pause this video, you can, you can go through my results one by one by one. Guys, driver default is the best setting. And there you have it. And there we have it guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. And guys, yet again, if you're a, if you're a channel subscriber and you want to give your boy a bit of support, please hit that join button. Other than that, guys, it's Saturday. Enjoy your day. It's people like you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.